Joni Martin. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator located in Southwest Wisconsin. And I have a project for you today that uses those paper scraps. You know, the ones you've been saving for something special. This is it. Let's get my face out of the way and I'll show you what we're going to do. I was able to participate in a Stamping Up event this weekend and one of the amazing presenters showed us how she made magnetic bookmarks using the Keeping Tabs bundle. And now I'm going to show you. So Keeping Tabs is a bundle in our new catalog and you can either purchase it as a bundle with a stamp and a die or a stamp and a punch. For my project, you just need one of these and I'm going to grab the punch. Then you need a scrap of print paper. I just happened to grab this one on my scrap bag. You need cardstock that is one and a half by five scored at two and a half. Now I'll have pictures and measurements on my blog. So if you, you know, don't worry about catching now. And then you're going to need a magnet sheet. Actually, you're going to need two pieces of magnet sheets. So let's put a two here. Now, a lot of you probably have magnets around. I grab, I order a hundred at a time of these five by seven magnet sheets from Amazon. And I use them primarily when I get a die set, I take out the pieces and I put the magnet sheet over the cardboard they come on. And then I just use them to keep my magnets in place. But we always have scraps of them left over. So with those scraps, I have two pieces of magnet that are one by two. This is so quick and easy. So I'm gonna use the punch, you could use the die. And we're just going to punch out. I probably spend way too much time picking where I'm gonna punch my paper. Don't be like me, just punch. Okay, and this is the fun little tab you get. Now I've used these tabs on birthday cards. I use them to tab my catalog, lots of things. But today they're gonna to be a bookmark. And then I'm just gonna fold it down. My paper is one and a half by five, scored at two and a half, and I'm going to fold it. And then I'm gonna grab my bone folder and just give it a nice crisp fold. Then I've already cut my magnetic scraps. And again, these are one by two and I have them next, you know, I have them attached to each other. And I'll show you why. We're gonna peel off the backing. The, the ones I get are adhesive on the back. Now I know people go to um, big box stores and get like magnet co or vent covers, they work. There's heavier duty or magnets out there, but really these are really easy. I think these are 20 milliliter, so they're not very thick. So I'm gonna take off the backing and just attach it like that. With school starting, and it'd be great to give this to your favorite teacher or send to school with a kid. But again, they're also wonderful for journals and other things. Okay. There's our magnet. This is kind of like the topper. So what we're going to do is just a little bit of glue. I got a little carried away with some of my earlier ones and you don't need a lot. First of all, it's a really strong glue and second of all, you don't want it going everywhere. If you're not a fan of the glue, you could use a strip of tear and tape. That's really all you need. Then I'm going to line this up so that it comes pretty close to the top of that part of the tab. And I think by looking at this, I just did what I told you not to do. I think I put too much glue on it. We're gonna give that a second to set. We're gonna put less glue on this side and close it up. I am sharing this bookmark tonight in a Zoom meeting with two other teams of Stamping Up demonstrators. So I thought, well, while I have all the supplies out, I'll share it with you too. So see, I got a little carried away with glue here. So this is what you wanna do. You wanna just grab a scrap of paper. I'm gonna reach into my recycling bin. And then I just lift it off. That's all there is to it. So, and that's all there is to the magnet. Now you could go fancy on I me. Mean, you could add another strip of paper down here. You could put your name here so no one takes your bookmark. But look how different they look depending on what you use for paper, cardstock and print. Look at them. Seriously, how fun are they? How easy are they? Mark your catalog with them. Nothing to it. Thanks for watching my quick little video. 
I appreciate it more than you know. If you liked what you saw, please share with your crafty friends. Until next time, take care and keep crafting. It's good for you. Thank you.